Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk football with the biggest news from the past 24 hours. The biggest news comes from Sunderland, whose fate has finally been sealed and they are to be playing Championship football next season. This comes after Sunderland were defeated very late on by Bournemouth and Hull City claimed a point against Southampton. Sunderland's fate was seemingly sealed a long time ago, but it's now been mathematically confirmed. Not a lot of goals around in the Premier League in today's other games, with Leicester defeating West Brom thanks to a Jamie Vardy goal, and there was a 0-0 draw between Stoke and West Ham, whilst in the late game, Burnley defeated Crystal Palace to claim their first away victory of the season. Elsewhere, Tottenham have announced that for the 2017-2018 season, their home games will be played at Wembley Stadium. This is happening whilst Tottenham's future new ground, Northumberland Park, is being completed. The final game ever to be played at White Hart Lane will be on the 14th of May, when Tottenham face Manchester United, and will be a, cl and will be a close the curtain game on a ground that Tottenham have called home for 118 years. Tottenham have of course played at Wembley several times this season in the European competitions and in the FA Cup semi-final and despite not being a good omen for Spurs they are looking to change their fortunes for the coming season. This would mean that in my opinion should the FA Cup semi-final and final be played out between all Premier League teams it would downgrade the competition further for just that one season as playing at Wembley will still not feel as special for the four teams that are involved to, and get to that stage. And finally, a bizarre story down in League 2 as Leighton Orient, who are bottom of the league and already relegated, were five minutes or so away from ending their home campaign against Colchester United when fans stomped onto the pitch in protest against their owner Francesco Bicetti. The referee attempted to get rid of the pitch invaders but to no avail and eventually called to abandon the game some time after it was originally meant to a finish. But an hour or so later, and the fan after the fans had cleared away, that is, and the referee and the players re-emerged to finish the game, with the final score remaining 3-1 to the way to the away side. That rounds up some of the top news stories from the past 24 hours within the footballing world. Please feel free to comment down below on anything that I may have either missed or anything that I spoke about. Um, and I will see you in the next video. But before I do go. Sunderland being relegated today is obviously the top story and I'll leave you with Andy Tate who will tell us whose fault it really was. I'm sorry to say again it's my Zeth.